number six with cheese. Today, we got a local video for you here in Chicago, Illinois. Thanks to the legend, Don Kotecki. Oh, One of the best, man. When you donate $35 or more on this channel every month, you get to pick where we go. You get an episode dedicated to you, dude. And today, Don said, guys, I saw this place up in Chicago. It looks insane called Joey G's Mac and Cheese. Great name. So, their, their menu, did you look at it? Yes, I did. There's so much on there. I'm so intimidated in a good way. So today, a couple different things off the menu. Don, this one's for you. We're headed to, I think it's Ukrainian Village. I should know. Okay, bye. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate it. Perfect. Thank you. Dude, Sips and Dips. This place is like Sips and Dips approved right now. All right, Sixers, we got it. Corey got a patty melt. I got the Italian beef mac and cheese. Acquired jump cut. Oh, that's hot. Good problem to have, man. Good problem to have. It's so hot right now. Damn, it smells good in here. Wow. Oh, no. Guy's got a folding chair? Oh, is he doing dibs? Yeah, he's doing dibs. I want to make a whole vlog about dibs. I'm fascinated by it. I've already thrown one footstool, I guess is what it was. Mm -hmm. Well, not even for a spot. I didn't want the spot. I just didn't want someone else dibbing. Principal. I was taking the dog on a walk, yep. and I took it and I chucked it into a snowbank, and then it was gone, and no one's used dibs on my street See, since. See, that's how it should be. People should get fired up. So this guy right here, there he is. He just put a chair. Yeah, oh, roll the window down. He put a folding chair in this parallel parking spot so that when he comes back, because he probably dug out this spot, so he thinks, I got dibs, dude. Yeah. So let me know if you guys think that's fair or completely unfair. Because that's not a, like a reserved spot. No, he doesn't own that spot. Public. That's street parking. You don't own street parking. I should take that chair and I should chuck it. Cleared street space is precious real estate. In Chicago, the legend goes, if you dig it out, you can call dibs planting your flag of choice on hard-earned turf. People will use just about anything to mark their parking spot. There's a chair over here, a bucket back there, another chair, a cone, and then I don't even know what these things are, but they're marking dibs. I had a friend whose neighbor parked into a spot that had a chair. They didn't move the chair. Right. They parked in a spot. They saw that a chair was on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. insinuating that someone had thrown that chair, much as I had done, walked by, thrown it. Yep. So they just parked there. They're innocent party. They came out later in the night, yep. and that back end of that chair, the leg of that chair, was right through their back window. <laughs> Can you imagine, I cannot bro? I not imagine. I'm sorry, did you not read the giant See the wall. There's no I dip. I my chair here this morning to save my spot. I don't care spot. about your chair. Am I going to come out here and tell you to move your car? I, dibs is what I know. I've never heard what of that What are you, on your period? It's called dibs, bitch. It's an honor code, and it's sacred. It's called dibs. There was a guy in a Jeep Wrangler on my street driving, saw the chairs, ran them over. Yes, I love that, bro. I so they're that. under his Jeep right now. Good. I, I watched him do it. Back the hell out of that. Isn't that incredible? I hate people who think, I own this spot, I dig it. So you had to dig. You, welcome to Chicago, bro. Yeah. You had to do some shovel. Bro, you got a shovel in your car, big whoop. I got, Corey's got a shovel. I got a, can you see it? <laughs> Not really, but I got a shovel right here, okay? That's because I gotta dig myself in and out of spots constantly. You don't see me whining about it, saving it, laying down. Like, this spot's mine! <laughs> Shut up! Corey and I both talked about this recently. Look at these cars like buried in here. That's a car. It's crazy. That's a car. Like, those are good luck. I mean, I can get it though. Like, after you bury it, you finally dig yourself out and you're like, it took me two hours. I gotta go to the store. <laughs> Then get rich enough that you can get a parking garage. That's my thing. Yeah. You want to whine about it? Get more rich. Right, dude. I don't know what to tell you, bro. You don't own these street parking. Don't live in the city. Move to the suburbs where you got driveways, and then that's your lot of land. It's called dibs. I've heard Lion, Illinois is beautiful this time of year. Yeah, go enjoy that, you dumb piece of trash. <laughs> She called dibs. All right, let's get into the mac and cheese. Don Kotecki, we love you. Shout out to the Texas folks. I got the Joey Melt. He wrote it in his blood, which, as you know, he has blood as cheese. Right, exactly. Um, so let's open this up. And, whoa, Frenchy fries. Okay. Yeah. And we got, this is a melt. Oh, that is a grilled cheese with stuff in it. I call them melts. The first ever melts I had was from uh, Steak and Shake. Wow. 
Okay. Good cheese ball. So Mott's hamburger, Mott's and pasta sauce. That's what it is. I remembered. I'm not dumb. No, you're not. This is the Joey melt. Looks really good on get camera. My fingernails on. Yeah. Looks good. And then here's yours. Yeah, and then I got one of their like legitimately 30 different mac and cheeses, which they, my God, did they package this well. Whew. Yeah, that's like a mummy. So this is definitely gonna look better once I kind of get the fork in there. Peppers, Jardinera. It's just, I mean, this is just an absolute mess to look at. Yeah, um, it looks like a Chicago one threw up into a tin, tin can. Yeah, which I'm psyched for. Uh, but we'll go ahead and stick a fork in this and then things will happen. That's nasty. Is this Jardinera? Oh yeah. Why wouldn't this come on it? All right, I'm eating like a dinner for four people. <laughs> or, or as some people call it, just a regular old Sean Hill. This is just another Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little Joey G's a mac and cheese and a melt. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, the Joey G melt's good. How's that good? It's so good. Mm. Oh my God. Even like, that is some tender steak. For like, they do it right? Yeah, this is so good. Oh my God, the cheese on the noodles is so creamy. Oh, that, the, I love those noodles. Rotini, baby. Mm hmm. I don't mind an elbow. But man, do I like rotini yep. more. I like a beefier noodle. My elbows are a little too dainty for mm -hmm. me. Oh my God. I get a beefy noodle for a beefy boy. You're trying to fire me up, I know it. That's a good melt, patty melt. Yeah, it's a good melt, that's great. Look at those noodles. They're so creamy. Mm. Well, this lived up to the hype. You know what I like about this place? What? I like that they just go buck wild and it's so many different items. Me too. Like, this is weird, like, not in a bad way, in a great way. Good, good weird. Yeah, it's like no one else is, is serving up mac and cheese with a tiny beef on it, and why not? Mm -hmm. It's delicious. Yeah. And that's not the only option they have. They have like meatball mac and cheese and blah, 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 and this and that, all kinds of crazy items. You really gotta check out their menu. Of course, of course, <laughs> my favorite current fan, Dawn, would mm -hmm. come up with like a boss move like this. I'd expect nothing less. I love it. Jalapeno, baked potato mac and cheese, Chicago hot dog, like you said, meatball, buffalo chicken, chorizo, garlic butter shrimp. It's wild, dude. It's wild. <laughs> it's wacky. Also, they layered this really well. You'd think it was just like noodles and then just all the toppings. There's layers of beef in this. Like in here, it wasn't oh. just like, it wasn't just one layer. It's everywhere. I gotta say, that's the number one issue that people who make stuff like this usually come into. Mm -hmm. It's the layers, they're not lasagna style, where it's boom, 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 and it's just one next. Mm -hmm. And then you eat through the top, a lot of times I have that with my uh, like bacon cheese fries. And nachos. Yeah, basically the same thing, it's just taking away the fry and putting in the chip. Exactly. You know? Yep. And uh, I hate that. I don't like that. I, I want the cheese to be, and the bacon to be dispersed evenly throughout. Mm. I knew this was gonna be good. This is exceeding my expectations. Wow, and boy, amazing. what a hump day it is. What a hump day it is. Is mac and cheese the ultimate comfort food? No. Sorry I asked. You're welcome. <laughs> this is the bad place. Jardinera is the real deal. That's one Chicago food I can get on board with. That's probably the Chicago food I can most get on board with, dude. Jardinera is dope. I know. People should be, the fact that that's not worldwide. That's weird to me. Mm-hmm. Like I remember when I lived in Florida, sucked. And I got a Chicago style pizza one time and it had Jardinera on it. They're like, all the way from Chicago. It's like, isn't that just like peppers and vegetables and vinegar? Yeah. More. They couldn't figure it out, dude. They don't know science. One of the best picks on the Patreon game. I'm okay. saying it right now. Do you want uh, this bag with that? Don't talk to me. Well, how are we gonna finish the review? <laughs> oh wait, dude, give me that f***ing bag, What bro. the hell, you, you heard me. Give me a bag. <laughs> I could use this for moving. <laughs> All right, before we go ahead and rate the mac and cheese and the melt here today from Joey G's, let's do everybody's favorite segment, the shout out portion. <laughs> Merch out, merch out, merch out. Number six with cheese.com. That's our website. You go to it and look at that. Oh my God, a bunch of stuff you can buy to support the show. If you just like vegging off of free stuff and don't help us, that's fine, dude. But some people want to support the show and put the logo on their chest region and things of that nature. Uh, today, we're going to say names of people that bought off the website to support the people that support the show. Merch out number one goes to Mrs. Darcy Demi. <laughs> Thanks, Darcy Darcy bought three bottles of Sixer Sauce. Anything else? No. And nothing else. <laughs> so we appreciate that. We sent that out to Metropolis, Illinois. Hope you enjoyed that. Merch on number two, Mr. Scott Stanley. <laughs> Two bottles of Sixer Sauce, that went to Rockford, Illinois. Number six with cheese.com. Buy some, something off the website, speech impediments, and we'll say your name. 
Stop burping. I can't help it, dude. I'm an airy man. Time to rate the uh, thing that you got from there. We had separate things. Uh, out of five, who's the stand-up comedian? Joey... Diaz. Jo Joey Diaz. Out of five Joey Diaz's, how many Joey Diaz's do you give that um, Joey melt that you had today? Joey melt, it was a pretty, it was a decent patty melt. It wasn't like the greatest patty melt in the world. A little bit on the soggy end, I like mine a little bit like crispier, but of course it's soggy. It's slathered up in uh, marinara. Marinara, it's lathered up in marinara, which is dope. And I'm glad that they do all those dope different types of melts. So for that, they're gonna get some extra points. I thought the marinara was delicious. I love the mozz cheese on there. I wanna try all their melts. If you're going there thinking it's gonna be like the greatest melt in the world, Maybe that won't be the case, but if you're going there looking for a damn good melt with a lot of different crazy options and getting an opportunity to go and explore a little bit, I think that's exactly what you should hit up. I'm gonna give that a very solid 3.9. I don't know by who, but it's voted number one mac and cheese in Illinois. I like when you don't have to credit it. Should we just on our website be called the best web series in America? Yeah, I think my mom says that. Mm -hmm. It was a really good mac and cheese. Like, it wasn't even just like that novelty thing where you're like, oh, it's hard to mess up mac and cheese. Like, they made it like gourmet in my mind. And the Italian beef, that was better than an Italian beef sandwich in my mind. Of course. I'm gonna go 4.5, dude. Wow. That I love was, that. that really, really lived up to the hype that I made in my head brain. We'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video. Tomorrow, another local Chicago restaurant. I don't know where we're going, Corey. Tell me in the world. I'm going to a fine place called Crispy Chicks. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Yeah, but you haven't. Okay. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Brand new video. Very excited. Dawn, we love you. Hit the $35 Patreon if you want to pick where we eat. Or don't if you don't. <laughs> let him, let live, let him figure it out. We can do whatever. I just want you around. Tell it to the wall when I don't pick up your calls. And if you're thinking something stupid, don't say nothing at all. Don't talk. Gonna say much. You could have some. Then you don't like the taste of. <coughs> Sean could have gone another size up on that shirt, huh?